is pretty, isn't she? Pure product from Argentina. fantasy you know it's fantasy when you see the show it's fantasy when you see pictures when you see the magazine it's all like a big fantasy it's, it's a big uh, dream uh, and I always say I'm real I'm not a fantasy I'm uh, I'm a person all right there we go Maria Mazza never aspired to be a model. Instead, she studied occupational therapy at college and planned on teaching children with special needs. Although her path led her to the fashion runway and magazine covers like Sports Illustrated, Valeria continues to pursue other interests. It's hard to be tough and sensitive at the right. same time. You don't want to lose your sensitivity, but you have to be business-minded. Yeah, you have to be business-minded, and also you need to have other things, you know, because if you just put your, all your energy in one thing, when that thing is not working very good, you're completely destroyed. So it's better to, you know, okay, this is my work, I like what I'm doing, but I have other things, you know. I have my family, I have my boyfriend, I have other, you know, I'm working with Special Olympics, and that is very, you know, good for me, and it's a good thing where, you know, I can put my energy and I feel good, you know. Sometimes I love you, sometimes they don't, they don't want to see you. Sometimes, you know, for some people you're beautiful, for some people you're not. For, you know, for some you're very tall, for other ones you're not tall. So you heard like completely different things about you. And at the end of the day, you don't know what you think about you, you know. So it's like, it's like you say, everybody say, don't take it personal. But, you know, the ego is, you know, it's hard. Valeria's ego recently took a blow when the Ford agency asked her to take her business elsewhere due to her reported lack of professionalism. At her new agency, Elite, she joins the ranks of the original guest girl, a blonde supermodel with a striking resemblance to Valeria. Constant comparisons may work in Valeria's favor since she has the supermodel look without the super high price tag. How do you feel about people comparing you with other models? <laughs> we won't mention any names here, but you know, I mean, it's true. And models are always being compared anyway. Right. And then, you know, there's that thing. I mean, uh, does that bother you? Um, I mean, the truth is, like, at the beginning, when the people start to to compare me with Claudia, we can say it, I don't have any problem. <laughs> I don't feel bad about that. Uh, for me, it was like, you know, it was a compliment. She's a beautiful woman. She's a great model. So. I just say that I feel, you know, good, like, you know, I just started and they compare me with, with Supermodel, you know, Claudia. After that, it was very hard to separate, you know, names. Yeah. And now I think it's okay. I think that it's an old story. Now um, there's two different persons, you know, one's Valeria, one is Claudia, and we're all happy. Yeah. <laughs>